Yeah. All right, let me talk to y'all niggas real quick. I'm on the way to the gym. You already know the vibes and shit. But, um, hey. But yeah, let me, uh, let me highlight you niggas right quick. Just a little, uh, I guess it'd be a coaching lesson for you niggas, I guess. Uh, learn how to control your bitch, right? Or should I say, coaching your bitch. Hey, you heard that shit, man. Rumble streets. I'm in traffic right now. Yeah, learn how to coach your bitch, right? Yeah. And what I mean by that is, no matter what, no matter who your bitch is, it doesn't matter. Whoever your bitch is, if she's dealing with you, she obviously looks at you as better than her. All right? So, if you dealing with a bitch, and I'm not talking about you dorks that think your bitch, bitch love you because of your money and shit. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you know if a bitch is wrapped up in you. You know if you got, you know if you got a bitch under your spell, right? And when you got a bitch under your spell where she is all a hundred, not gonna say hundred percent, cause bitches, bitches, but when you got a bitch under your spell and you got her open to the the maximum capacity that she'll listen to a nigga, that is when you need to be coaching this bitch. This is when you need to be giving her the advice and life lessons and stuff and and uh. What's the word I'm looking for? You need to be giving her advice, life lessons, uh, picking at little insecurities every now and then. All the shit that she should have been getting from other niggas that nobody, even her father, all the things that this bitch should have been known that she don't know, right? So, especially if you get it, you a young bitch. Nigga, you get you a young bitch anywhere from 20, 20 and up, well, 20 to 22, 23. This is that's prime coaching day. Them prime coaching years. You catch a bitch then. You catch a bitch between them that 20 to 23 window right there. And I promise you, you coach her up right, that bitch would be. If she don't stay with you, some nigga in the world is gonna be happy. Cause you, if you gave her some quality life lessons and, and coaching, nigga. Cause I'm tired of running into you niggas. What the fuck nigga going I'm tired of running into you niggas. Uh bitches. I'm tired. Of, I don't know what they got going on up here. They cut out the road for some shit, and these niggas got fucking boots in their hands. And fucking niggas got boots in their hands and shit. This is for, they didn't look like they had some money. But any fucking way, back to what the fuck I was saying. You catch a bitch in the prime years of culture, right? She'll be a prime, a good candidate for some nigga. Maybe if it ain't you, but that's not the point. You're not coaching. You're coaching a bitch. When she's with you, you're coaching her to conform to the nigga that you are, to your lifestyle, all right? If you the leader, you the man, you the leader, you gotta coach your bitch up right. She's following you, nigga. She's following you, but she's running off of, so took football, for example, bitch. The bitch is on your team. She's on your team. You are the fucking Dallas Cowboys. She's on your team, and she wants to play for you. She wants to play, but the bitch is only operating on the only playbook she knows, and that is the fucking Seattle Seahawks. She's running with the Seattle Seahawks playbook, but she wants to, she's playing for you. She's on the Cowboys now. So it's up to you to coach this bitch up to speed. Bitch, we not running a 4-3 no more. You in a 3-4 defense. I need you off the ball, right? You not on the lock. I need you off the ball, bitch. You need to coach your bitch up right, nigga. And that's all it is. Your bitch just running with old playbooks. Scrap all them shit. Coach this bitch up right. You know what it is? The main thing that I tell you niggas, I tell a lot of niggas, tell your bitch to shut up. Shut the fuck up if you real tough, if you advanced and shit. Tell that bitch, tell your bitch, shut up. If you, if you get to, I know every nigga that's watching this video, if you come across this video, Every bitch, every nigga got a girl And she talking to you And she just get to a point where you talking to your bitch And in your head and in your stomach You feel it Somewhere I'm like, yo, this bitch is talking a lot About shit that I don't give a fuck about At, at all 
And somewhere in there, you turn into a bitch and be like, you know, I'm just listen to her because that's my girl. I love her. And all, all that gay shit that's crossing your mind, nigga. Fuck that. Shut the tell that bitch. Hey, I, do it like I do it. I'll tell you. You don't even have to tell her shut the fuck up if that's too heavy for you. I'm at the point now. My bitch is coached up so well. All I do is like, hey, do me a favor. When I say do me a favor, she already know. Shut the fuck up. I am talking way too much. But even that is a task for me. I wanted to get to a point where she is talking so much about nothingness and not getting a response from me. I want her to naturally want to shut the fuck up. I want it just how I get a feeling in my stomach. I want her to get it in her stomach like, damn, I am really talking about nothing right now. I should shut the fuck up. This nigga don't give a fuck about nothing. And it's going to be a process. But... I feel like I'm already 70% there. Just a little bit further to go, right? But that just comes from coaching. Nobody has ever told her to shut the fuck up. They just let her talk. You know, when your girl's pretty, niggas will let your bitch talk and then you just blah, 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 laughing at her, goofy. I, listen, when I catch you niggas out laughing at bitches jokes and shit, laughing like bitches is funny, bitches is not funny. At all. I ain't met a bitch yet I thought was hilarious that I didn't want to fuck. I ain't met a bitch yet that I thought was funny at all. That shit is not, that does not exist. I don't care what you goofy that. What about that? No, never, no. Not even comedian bitches. None. Not funny. Disgusting. So, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Coaching. You gotta coach your bitch up. I can't tell you how to coach your bitch specifically it's all about what you want out of life and what your happiness scale is about you know what i'm saying so it's all about creating the world that you want to live in right so but that being said the way i coach my bitch is 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 specific to me but it's also universal so that the shit i teach her about male and female dynamics and things like that and about how the way my mind works and how I process my thoughts so when I say certain shit to her it's always logic behind it so I sometimes I gotta batter her with it where it's like she might not she might be afraid to ask me a question because she knows the dumb shit that she said is gonna result in an ass whooping of logic like I'm gonna beat her ass with logic just because I don't want you to get complacent and asking me dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, that is part of my coaching. And some people might, I was manipulative and whatever. So, so, everything in relationships is part manipulation, my nigga. It ain't gotta be no psycho shit like that. It don't gotta be no bad thing. I treat my bitch very well. And I talk to her very well. But sometimes, you gotta reel them in. It's just like kids, bro. And I know bitches probably suck their teeth when they hear that shit. But it's like children. Sometimes your kids listen. They do good. But then you let the leash off of them a little bit and them niggas is jumping off the fucking kitchen table. So now you gotta whoop their ass literally. <laughs> now you gotta whoop their ass literally. Throw a couple threats in there and reel them back in. Same thing with your bitch. You got to beat her ass figuratively with logic and reel her ass back in. That's it. You know? And I say it's all about your happiness. What the fuck do you want out of a bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you want out of your girl? I hear niggas talking about bitches don't bring shit to the table. Okay, nigga. What the fuck you want from a bitch? Because to be honest, I don't give a fuck about a bitch cooking, cleaning, none of that shit. To be honest, my main things with a bitch is I need a bitch that knows how to shut the fuck up when I need her to not talk to me. I need a bitch that understands that I need you to get to the point when you say things to me. So don't ask me some shit. That's not the real question. If I get up from a seat or anywhere to do anything, don't ask me. Where are you going? What the? What do you want? I don't even ask. I don't even. Ask, I don't even answer those questions anymore. 
If you ask me a question, well, I know that's not the real question. What do you want? What do you want? And I'm going to batter you with that until you tell me what the fuck you want. Because I know where I'm going is not the real fucking question you want. And it's not, it doesn't matter. So, I need a bitch just to know how to communicate with me, really. And that comes from me coaching them. You got to know when to not talk to me and then know how I communicate, right? And also, with that, too, I got to understand how she communicates, which I do. But I also got to understand that she's a girl at the end of the day. So, I have to give it to her in a sense that is she'll be receptive to it. And I also don't hurt her freaking feelings, you know? You know, I don't want to... While I'm communicating with her, it's a, it's a fine line that I got to be of directness and subtleness where I'm not battering her to the point that, you know, she's in there crying or she wants to leave and shit like that. And, you know, that just comes with coach. That just comes with experience, you know? you got Sometimes you got to coach a couple teams and fail, you know? Sometimes you're not going to be... You might go 0-13 in a season, you know? <laughs> sometimes you might not be a good coach, but you'll get better. Maybe you got to start off as a fucking coordinator. You got to start off defensive coordinator and work your way up to head coach, all right? I'm at head coach status now, baby. So, and that comes with a lot of failures, but now we on it. I got it locked in now. We good. But, yeah. And um, I'll dive more into this shit. I'll dive way more into that shit. If you niggas want, you know, just put a like there if, if you like, if you want to hear more about this type of shit. But, yeah, coaching you, bitch. Is, is really going to be Of the utmost importance in your life Because I hear you niggas talking about You want to game bitches and shit like that And learn how to talk to bitches Fuck all that nigga First things first To even get to this point Let me get you to you Become that nigga That's it Become that nigga How do I become that nigga? I'm glad you asked random nigga First of all Get your money right Get your money right Get your money right Number one Cause it's always gonna come, it's always gonna boil down to that. No matter how, what way you slice the pie, what way the up, down, side, it doesn't fucking matter. Money is always gonna be a part. If you a man, money is always gonna be a part of how you evaluate it, my nigga. So get it out your head that money don't make the man. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck. Don't listen to them niggas. Don't don't listen to them niggas. You can get pussy without money. Money don't make you real. None of that. I'm not saying that. None of that. But nigga, no matter how you boil it down, from the realest nigga to the fakest nigga, money is a component of how you evaluate it. So, get your money up. One, it'll make it so much easier for you to have an abundance mindset when it comes to women. If you got your, if you got your bread right, I promise you. You're not gonna worry about too much other shit when you got your bread right. And then keep working at stacking bread, you know what I'm saying? Keep working at getting your bread up. Two, um, get your body in order. Get your body together, work on your physical appearance. Beard, face, skin, teeth, muscles, all of that shit, your fashion, all of that goes into your physical. Get that together and, and just watch and just and just watch how females are receptive of you now like just just as they look at you i go places all the fucking time i was in fucking Publix yesterday man, nigga. i was in Publix yesterday and i wasn't even in no shit i was just going in there to get some bread and some you know light shit i was about to make a sandwich bitch in there find somebody's mom somebody's mom bitch had to be like 40 but and i i would walk past there smelling good cologne on in the bread aisle, in the surprisingly, nigga, in the bread aisle, and I say, excuse me, you know, walking past because I ain't gonna bump into her. She had a wagon on her too, but excuse me, walk past her. She eyed me up and down like she wanted to just dive on top of me and shit, like. But and you know, I keep it respectful because I got a girl, but just that type of stuff right there is just like, get yourself together and you can have those type of interactions. You feel me? And then three, um, work mentally. Get your mind together, cause it's it's more attractive once you get a bitch, where you can play with her mind. You know what I'm saying? And cause most bitches ain't having good conversations. Most bitches ain't having good sex. So, you know, get 
learn something to teach something you know know something bitches that's your leader so people want to follow you if you're a leader girls is naturally followers they want to follow the right man so you being the right man you gotta have something to teach a bitch read books study things that pique your interest learn new skills learn how to play chess learn how to fucking i don't know new swear learn to play piano things like that something where she could be like oh wow that's crazy i never thought you would know how to do that you know uh you know just and then teach her these things that's attractive that's attractive to a woman that's appealing and then uh i would say four i ain't really putting this in the list i'm not doing a list right now but four learn how to fuck all right, learn how to lay the wood. Learn how to knock the bottom out of this bitch. And that'll be in another video too. But yeah, I ain't really want this to go on that long, but I was just talking to y'all while I'm in traffic. But definitely, definitely, definitely like this video, comment if you really want me to talk on this shit some more, which I will. But you know, just let me know what y'all want to hear and what y'all uh, need more info on. And I got y'all, you know what I'm saying? But that's all I got for y'all. This is Wolfgang Pete. This is Wolfgang Lifestyle. And we out.